climate change words versus climate change action. I'm Brian Lilly with the rebel.media. We all know this Trudeau government loves climate change. They talk about it all the time. Our government is very committed to working with the provinces uh, to develop uh, a national plan to tackle climate change. Now that's Catherine McKenna, the minister in charge of environment and climate change. So you kind of expect her to talk about it. But remember, this is a government where every single member of cabinet, every minister, down to the minister of national revenue, the person that just collects the money for everyone else to spend, had climate change mentioned in their mandate letter. So, fine, we get it. They love climate change. They took the biggest delegation ever to the Paris Climate Change Conference. And as McKenna tells us, later this week, the prime minister will get together with the premiers and discuss the issue of climate change. So this is the second day, the second time that the Prime Minister sat down with the Premiers um, and they are going to have, they're going to continue the discussion about how do we actually develop this plan and they're going to set up a process where there are working groups to actually do the really hard work. So Justin Trudeau wants a deal on global warming, on climate change. We get it. This is a huge file for him. But do his words match his actions? I'm going to hazard a guess and say no. See, each and every day, the Prime Minister's office puts out a news release telling us what his schedule is. And on the weekend, they said he was in private meetings, said it was Ottawa. And yet, there were photos all over the place and a CBC News story describing how the Prime Minister and his family were snowboarding out in Whistler. That's right, Whistler, British Columbia, as in the other side of the country. I don't begrudge Prime Minister Trudeau and his family a vacation. I don't begrudge him going to the West Coast to take in some of the best skiing in North America. Not at all. And I don't begrudge him the use of the government plane. Look, I get it. Just like when Stephen Harper wanted to go to a baseball game with his kids, he had to take the, the government jet. He had to travel with staff and with the RCMP security detail. When you're in this job, these guys, they don't have an option of just booking an economy seat and going. So... They reimburse the taxpayer for the equivalent of their family's flights where they fly in economy. But they can't. They've got to take the government plane. But here's what I do begrudge Trudeau. Here's a man who wants to have a national climate change strategy, says this is the biggest issue facing the country, facing the world. He wants to use this meeting with the premiers to put a price on carbon, a floor price, and we're all going to pay more for everything. And yet there he is jetting off to the other side of the country for a little snowboarding. There's ski hills, just a short drive from Ottawa. They're not the greatest. If he wanted better skiing, he could drive a little further, go to the Laurentians, go to uh, Mont Tremblant. That's another place that's considered some of the best skiing in North America. But no, he had to go to Whistler. He'll be in British Columbia later this week for a meeting with the premiers. His itinerary for the day, it says he's in private meetings in Ottawa. Is that the case? We don't really know. We can't be sure what his office means when they put out these private meetings memos to us. But this is a man who lectures the rest of the country, the rest of the world, on the need to do more. So why is he flying to the other side of the world for a little bit of skiing? Why is he flying to the other side of the country for a little bit of snowboarding? His words and his actions don't match. It's also a fact that this is a man who won't feel the bite when he gets his floor price on carbon. This is something that's going to cost you on pretty much everything you buy. If it moves by truck, you're going to pay more. When you fill up your own car, you're going to pay more. If you decide to fly somewhere for vacation, you're going to pay more and you're going to feel it. Justin Trudeau, he's not going to feel it beyond his trust fund and his huge salary. We pay for most of what he's consuming right now. So he's not going to feel a thing, but you will when you're paying for yourself and your own family and when you're paying for his.